Hey guys, what's up? This is Gollum, and welcome to Observer, a cyberpunk horror game that takes place in the far-off future, where people called Observers can access other people's memories for what reasons? I don't particularly know, but that leads into some horror scenarios as well. You're literally accessing people's minds and seeing what they saw, and so maybe some crazy things will happen there. So let's go ahead and get into this and hope that we get a pretty neat experience. I mean, just the concept is pretty cool itself. The year is 2084. If they told me what the world would become, I would not have believed them. First, there was the nanofade, the disease of transition, a digital plague that swept across the land, killing thousands upon thousands of augmented souls. A heavy cost for meddling with our minds and bodies. Then came the war, the big one. The great decimation. The West killed the East. The East killed the West. There were no winners. Except for Cairo. The corporation seized power and forged the Fifth Polish Republic. A crooked empire of blood and ash. There was no one left to oppose them. But still, we endured, and so it goes. The rich get richer as the poor rot away in their hovels, desperately looking for ways to escape reality. I am what they fear, a corporate tool of oppression, a despised leech that creeps into your dreams and feeds of your fears. If you don't remember, if you won't remember, that's when they call me. To access you, to gather evidence, to dredge up whatever's hiding in the darkest corners of your mind. My name is Daniel Lozelski. I'm an observer. Lazarski, you there? Hmm. Come in, Lazarski. Sorry, just falling asleep on the job. Lazarski, you there? Oh, interact with my objects using left mouse button. Sure, why not? We'll answer the call for Lazarski. Yeah, I'm here. You okay there? I've been hailing you for the past five minutes. I'm fine. I must have dozed off. No rest for the wicked. How's the dream meter treating you? Well, I'm not a vegetable yet. Could have fooled me. Hardy heart. I'm serious, Dan. Your signal's all over the place. Have you taken your meds? Uh... Not yet. We'll say that, just in case. Not in a while. Do it now. I need you in good shape. Okay. Press middle mouse button to check your status and use Synchrozine. Yeah, I'm not trying to lose my mind and go even crazier, right? Daniel Lazarski. I am... I don't know. I was born in 2038. I don't know. I forgot the date already. Anyways, I need to take this. Uh-oh. I'm not even using controller, and my controller's vibrating. Please stop vibrating, controller. There you go. Looking better already. Yeah. Wouldn't want me to mess up. Can you see the headlines? Another leech goes berserk. Don't be like that. It's just... Yeah, yeah. Well, let's see. You got any work for me? We're not going to be mean to her. She's a uh, caretaker. Oh. All right. What's this about? Just checking in, or you need me downtown? Nah, just a checkup. No one left for you to interrogate. Yet. That sounds pretty bad. Yep, not pretty. The explosion leveled half a block. The place is still on fire. Corporate goons all over the place, securing the area. Covering your tracks, you mean? Whoa. Uh. Careful what you say. This is a monitor channel. Who is this? 
How'd you get this frequency? Don't you recognize me? No, not at all. Adam? Oh. Yes. Well, what's left of me? Dad. What happened? Where, where have you been all this time? Away from you? It's funny. I thought it would be easier. To hear your voice after all these years. But it really isn't. Come on, Adam. Don't start. I really thought I could pull it off. You know? I was so close to making a difference. To setting us all free. And now it's... Can't be for nothing. Doesn't matter. Tell me where you are. I'll come and get you. Shit. Dad. For once in your life, just listen to me. Whatever happens, I need you to remember. You're not in control. I'm not in control Adam. of what? Can you hear me? You still there? Adam. God damn it. Dad? Dad. Matriarch, display caller ID. Displaying now. Krabinski. That's no. Matriarch, locate source of last call. Yeah, so much for a secure channel, right? Minutes. Come on. Location established. Tenement building. Class C district. Jesus. Adam, the stacks. You just had to hit bottom, huh? I have no idea what's going Rock on. Fucking butter. But I have a son. I need to find him. Ugh. Oh, we have an intro. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, this is definitely creepy. So, uh, since this is a horror game that de deals with delving into the mind, I think it's safe to say sometimes we can't trust our own eyes, right? Our own mind? Who knows what direction this is gonna go into. I've yet to play layers of fear, so I have no idea what these devs are capable of. Well, I guess we're gonna find out. They can do a cool intro and show me their name of the game three different times. <laughs> Just in case you forgot, this is Observer. So is my caretaker not gonna like call in and be like, hey, you disappeared for a while? Because, uh, things went kind of dark. What's up, dude? Oh. He's a, he's a little maid robot. Or just a cleaning bot. Hi. Hey. Ah. Hey. I'm fucking, I thought the robot was talking to me about telling me to like get away from it. But it's a human. <laughs> What's up? I wasn't expecting. <laughs> I'm just like, we got a robot. I wanted to see what it would do. What's up, man? Need to get out. Why? Easy there, Tin Man. I'm not looking for trouble. Oh. Tenant? Huh? Uh, am I a tenant? Yes. No. Yes. Um, sort of. Name? Grabinski! Grabinski. Leon Grabinski. Tenant. Mm -hmm. oh. Apartment 7. Uh. Oh. Ground floor. Through the courtyard. Turn right, turn left. Straight ahead, turn right. Yeah, I got it. Backwards and forwards. Thanks. Mm. Door open. 
All right. I don't... I'm bad with, like, following directions and keeping them in my head. I'd have to, like, repeat that over and over mentally, just be like, right, left, right, left, right, left. So we're just gonna randomly wander around and see what we got. Impeccable sound recording quality, even under the harshest conditions. It looks like just a standard cassette player. Can I access this guy's room? No, I cannot. All right. This is gonna be very interesting. I don't know the full history of the world, but it's... It's cyberpunk. It's got futuristic technology, but it isn't like completely perfect futuristic stuff. The integration of it all is kind of uh. The state of the art holographic display offers virtual reality great immersion. The mighty processor will handle even the most complex calculations. The kinetic interface allows for maximum comfort and efficiency. Oh boy. That sounds like a great way for people to be uh to be in the middle of like a virtual reality session and then that's when we access their mind. Tattoo gun. Laser precision, stellar performance, out of this world quality, down earth price. It's a self-tattoo gun or, or or what? Oh well. Let's go through these doors. Oh it's one of those kinds of systems. Ah I see. Well let me move my whoop, my mouse pad backwards so I can actually like pull my mouse forward and backwards in a safe way. So we actually have a physics thing going Attention, on with the, at least the doors. Curfew is now in effect in all Class C districts. Remain in your apartments and enjoy your chosen holographic content. Thank you for your preparation. Alright. So, let's check my log here. Locate apartment 7. The janitor gave me the number of Adam's apartment. Heading there now. Apartment number 7. Alright, that'll be easy to follow. And we have just a tattoo shop in front of everybody because, you know, that's what I want to see when I when I wake up in the morning and walk outside. A place to tat myself up. Right. This place is worn down looking. Eh. Run up, close the door behind us. The place is cheap enough that they just don't have uh, automatically closing doors. Alright, so how does this work? We're looking for apartment number seven. They said ground floor, so yeah, you can see we're in this stairwell. Head over here, aha! And we'll be able to find what we need just kind of all the way in the back. But what's down here? Oh, well, I can't go down there just yet. That looks like a perfect place to hide a bunch of stuff. Oh boy. Can't wait to have scary things happen. Oh boy. Hello? What is this saying? Fre performs all the necessary tasks when you need to update engineering the bent time stamp converts all I'm I'm just kind of I'm I'm just seeing if like anything that's useful to us pops up here. All right. Whoa. What the fuck? Did you hear that? Why in the hell was there growling? We're in the real world still. I was just trying to like I was I was messing with this fucking door and like just rattling the doorknob and we just hear low growling back here. Great, awesome. Just what I need in my life. Uh, put me on edge, I suppose. Put me on edge. We're so used to horror games just being completely dark. This game, well, looks like it's gonna be kind of a mix. Or at least it's starting off with, hey, look at this place. It's, It's got holograms for the sake of having holograms. Place can't afford an automatically closing door, but it can afford fucking constantly running holograms everywhere. Shows what kind of preferences we have. What kind of fucking entrance is this? Okay. Ah, I gotta move this to the side. Hello! What the hell happened in here? There's blood on this. Uh, do I have a gun? Am I technically like a detective? Nope, that's a body. Oh boy. Adam? God. 
Jesus! Is his head gone? I, we're not getting a stable look at it. Dispatch, this is Nazarski. Yeah, his head's gone. Five six two one zero. Can anyone hear me? Oh, awesome! I didn't report this in. Okay, Dan. Maybe it's not him. Doesn't have to be. Huh. Operational efficiency restored. We're calming it down. We're calming it down. Let's put somebody this locked us in. Six five six two one zero. Setting up a crime scene. Press E to activate electromagnetic vision. I need to check the victim's Whoa. compass for connections. Analyze the victim's compass. I'm assuming that's it? What about that? Victim is equipped with an ID mixer. Identification not possible. Damn it. Ah, that's annoying. Six million volts wasn't enough. All right, and what about this? H-N. Gotta start somewhere. H-N. Hermes 3345. Consumer grade communication device. Legal modification detected. Oh boy. Biovision. Oh, what in the heck are we doing with all of this? We are learning some things. Erratic cutting pattern. Indicating the killer was in a frenzy. Use both vision modes to look for clues. And I can move now? Alright. Well, before we do anything, let me just, uh, see if I can turn off my controller vibrations, because that's gonna get irritating real fast. Is there a higher thing than this? Advanced. <laughs> I'm just checking we got uber resolution scalability. I don't know what SSS quality is, but we're putting that up to high. Apply. Alright, so we gotta use both vision modes to check things out here, but let me first get a glance at everything this guy has. Here's a bathroom. I like how it said that there were things that it ignored. I wonder what it ignored. There's a toothbrush, I think. Oh, Jesus, dude. This guy got torn up. Obviously, he's missing a head, but... There's fucking blood everywhere. Oh, I hate when... Uh, this is gonna suck. We didn't call it in that we were gonna check out a place because, well, we were obviously checking it out for Adam, which is a personal thing. And now, we're trapped in this apartment complex, not able to get help from our handler to figure things out. This is gonna suck for us. Alright. What do we got for all this blood? It leads back kind of the way we came. Blood, homo sapiens, contaminants detected, failed to extract forensic data. Well, aren't you just useless? Fine. Alright, what about this? What is this? It is 500 milligrams of synchrozine. Powerful augmentation stabilizer, strict dosage control. I should probably take it, right? Strict dosage control advised. Alright, so if I'm ever, like, losing sanity, we gotta take this otherwise, I don't know what the heck is gonna happen. I think if we don't have max synchrozine, you get, well, this stuttering menu, and it probably affects the real world as well, and to the point we might end up just dying. What is this? Nanophage and I. Oh, I wish there was, like, a bag cover, because I want to find out about the nanophage. We had just, like, a quick blurb at the beginning talking about the state of the world, but that's kind of useless on me when I don't, when I haven't been like immersed in the world yet, so I've already forgotten like half of it. Oh, hey, what is this? Identity card. Adam Lazarski. Oh, shit! Adam was definitely here! Chiron Incorporated. High level clearance. Looks genuine, but it's expired. It's legitimate, but that's actually Adam's card. I should take it, but I can't. We're just gonna leave it here, which is a stupid idea. If 
fine. What about in this bottom drawer? Just kind of like a big hard drive thing, fine. Oh, no, 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 there's... This is like a closet or... Or something, and you can't trust that. I don't know what half of this stuff is. Oh, look, 1984. Printed on real paper. Archaic for you, Adam. Yeah, it's legitimately George Orwell. I've never actually read 1984. I probably should at some point. Just one of those classic literature things about futures that are really gonna suck if we have too much control in the government's hands. Okay. There's nothing in the right side of this closet, but there is some stuff over here. Motherboard. That's it. Okay. Well, I guess most of the clues are gonna probably just be around the dead guy's body. What have I missed out in here? Oh, I thought that was gonna end up being the head or something. I don't like this vision stuff. It really is... Look how much it changes, just, oh look, it's okay, real world, nice, nice, and then, wow, 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 I can barely see. Oh well, what is this? A hidden data storage. The encryption is too complex for my hacking tool. I'm taking it with me. Oh. You might be able to, you never cared about this stuff. Yeah, sure, I'll take it. See what we can find out later on. So this is at legitimately Adam's place, and hopefully that isn't his dead body, because I want to find out some stuff. <laughs> I can turn on the fan. Just, just for the hell of it. There's like an interesting mix of things I can pick up, but can't. Like, here's a can! I'd love to just throw it against the wall, but we can't. What is this? Controlled substance 45F, better known as feed. You'd never touch this one. We should take it, but we can't. Alright, well, we haven't found his body or his head in like the freezer or something. At least there's that. How did someone just get away with somebody's head? Hmm. Hello. Where does this go? They're just into the big computer set. Damage or evidence disposal. Cloud station server. Damn. Is there even anything left in here for me? Look at this guy's head. We can scan it a little bit more. The head was removed post-mortem. It's possible the killer took it. Motive. Unclear. I don't know, maybe he was just trying to keep the head away from us. I mean, when you can literally scan a dead person's mind, well, you should probably get rid of the mind. Get rid of the head. What do we have here? Claw marks. Maybe they just had, like, a bunch of knives in their hand. Okay. Well, we heard a roar. Or like a low growling, and then we found a dead body here, so... Lucky us. Ah, <sighs> what am I missing in here? I'm trying to like follow this cable around, but it just kind of like goes off to this... Ah! <laughs> this wall, I thought... I didn't realize this was something I could open. Whoops. Shoot. Well... There is a hacking mechanic. How does this work? Okay, we got a four at the end there. That's all we got. That's all we got right now. Oh no. I thought it was gonna be like a mini game or something, like, oh, you have to press the thing and just in time and it'll give you the code, and it could still be that. Shoot. 
All right. Well, he said bingo to this. So maybe we, we gotta find a code somewhere. So what about this card? Does this have anything involving a four? At all? Card number zero zero four four? Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll try this out. Zero zero four. That easy. Dang. Shoot. We need the code. Adam, oh. So this is your apartment. Doesn't mean it's your body. Why does he have our face blurred out? Haven't we already seen like our face? Uh, April 2068. When was that picture taken? We don't know, but we're definitely in our later ages. All right, so we're on the hunt for a code. That's how we can get out of here. I think, because I don't think I can go through the door I came in. Yep, it's locked. Unregistered security code, illegal modification. Guess I triggered the security system. Must be a way to deactivate it. Yep. Okay. Something ending in a four can get us out of here. Oh no. Oh, all right. Let's look around this place in normal vision. Actually, maybe bio vision. We've we've definitely looked around the entire place in electro vision, but not so much in bio vision. There could be something on the wall, something hidden away, like a a bloody hand pointing to a corner. Or not. Oh, I'm lost already. <sighs> All right. What could we be using for this? Hey, maybe it's something simple. One, two, three. Nope. Damn it. So much for this hacking thing. Useless to me sometimes. I'm a fucking idiot. I am an idiot of the highest caliber. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, wow. I was running around in circles being like, there's nothing that has a number on it. What if it's, what if it's, you know, like a reference to other books like Fahrenheit, zero, four, five, one, and then you're like, oh wait. 1984. Uh, uh, whoops. So what the hell is this? Holographic library. Oh boy. It's someone's personal computer for us to delve through. What the fuck is this supposed to be? It looks like either a head with tentacles coming out of it, or like a helmet with like wires coming out of it. Interact. Downtown Inferno, tragic accident or insurgent attack. Emergency services are still on the scene after an immense explosion tore a hole in what was once a serene business area of downtown Krakow. The blast is now thought to have originated at a Chiron Incorporated Research and Development Center. Although a joint search effort has been launched by the KPD and corporate personnel, the rescue teams scouring the site are yet to find any survivors among the rubble. The exact number of casualties is yet to be calculated, but according to our sources, no high-ranking Chiron official was injured in the tragic event. As to what caused the explosion, early reports suggest a reactor malfunction, but a corporate executive who wishes to remain anonymous on his, as, or had his own ideas on the subject. We are not excluding anything at this point, but this has terrorists written all over it. It is precisely the sort of cruel and cowardly tactics the anti-Republican insurgents excel at. We'll have an official statement on the matter shortly. If the insurgents were indeed behind this vicious attack, their goals remain a mystery. The center conducted civilian research, focusing primarily on developing new and improved neural links and other consumer products. It seems that whatever third party was involved, their sole purpose was to wreak havoc and destruction, striking fear into the hearts of the public at large. When asked to comment, police inspector Robert Pegula gave a prompt and stern reply. 
Gyron executives have provided their full support in dealing with the situation. He then retreated to his squad car, clearly distraught by the events of the day. We'll bring you more on the story as it develops. Alright, so Adams is obviously interested in what's going on with the downtown Infernal. But why? Is it just civilian curiosity or did he have something to do with it? Uh oh. They know. Listen, I know you're a busy man and all, but we gotta talk. Now. I think they're on to me. For real this time. I'm almost certain someone followed me home yesterday. And today I saw this weird guy outside my window, just standing there. If you can't guarantee my safety, then I'm out. I got enough of problems as it is. HN. Alright, what about this? As far as our, our little, uh, as far out little mule goes, I think that's supposed to be R. As far as our little mule goes, don't worry. I can manage her. She's not like us. She knows she's in over her head and it clearly terrifies her. You can't expect too much from a simple mind. For now, just focus on your work and leave the human relations aspect of the project to me. For the time being, calm down and maintain focus. Eyes on the prize. P.S. Glad you liked the, the piece. I think it captures the essence of what, uh, essence of what we're trying to accomplish. What were you trying to do, Adam? We don't know from here. I've deactivated the apartment security system. Leaving the right. But we got a couple other things here. Ooh, more secret scene. I need these. It's it's, it's important. Take them. Refilled. Synchrosine selected. The question is. How much do I generally have? Synchrosine injected. Strain level decreased. Ah, so this green bar is actually the synchrosine. It's not my stress level. I see. Okay, and you can see that the uh, the menu is glitching out a hell of a lot less with us taking that. So, if I have an excess, I should probably take some just to kind of remain calm. This just doesn't feel right. We're still alive. I know it. Oh boy. Something's going on here. Is this just a standard lockdown because there's a crime happening? Or am I about to die? There's too much fucking noise happening out here. Okay. Things have stabilized. What the fuck? Why are there just birds in here? What the hell? It's gone! What? But now it's back! The fuck? Okay. So, someone let in a lot of birds. I don't know what that was all about. I wasn't really trying to intently listen to, like, all the things that were happening there. I was too busy worrying about my own hide. And getting as close to the entrance door as I could. Ugh. Alright. What do we have here? Holocom panel. Alright. I, I don't think I need to scan the rest of them. Hey, you there! Come here, quick! Oh. Hey, what's up? What is it? What's up with the lockdown? Is it the phage? Was there an outbreak? Uh... No. A malfunction, more likely. You would say that, wouldn't you? To keep us at bay until the cleaners come. Oh god, they're coming for me! I don't wanna die! <laughs> Calm down. No one's filming. <laughs> oh, crazy guy. Uh, I gotta go. Oh, it's fucking locked. Hey! Oh. But why? Why can the bathroom door open? Well, I guess you don't really lock it. That's gross. What the fuck, guys? Who did that? <laughs> I imagine it was one of the tenants. Look, this is the way I came in. Shit. What in the world? Oh, the better bathroom. The one that doesn't have, like, destroyed everything. Okay.
KPD, I need to talk to you. Get away from me, man. I got a piece on me, and I ain't afraid to use it. No, you don't. Now, calm down. I'm just looking for some answers. Oh, I know how you get your answers. I got nothing to tell you. Ha! <laughs> yeah, safe enough answer. Uh, you don't want me hacking your mind. Hello? The, the place is, uh, in lockdown. I can't get out. She might still be in the building. Her compass ID was HN. Might be a good idea to interrogate the local tenants. They might be ha uh, give me some clues as to what happened to Adam. All right, these are all good ideas. I did not think of most of them. I was just kind of randomly wandering around, scared because I walked into the hallway and had a lot of loud noises. No, you can- you can just go ahead and, uh, you can just not. Okay? What? What do you want? Got a minute, sir. KPD. Oh god, they're here! The cleaners are here! Uh, these people. Um, next door neighbor! Hi, this is Tom. And Irene! <laughs> We hope you're having a positively peachy day. Oh, we sure do. Sadly, we're not in right now. <sighs> <laughs> but you can leave your message after the beep, and we'll get back to you as soon as we're home. Yay! Oh, I mean, beep. <laughs> Jesus. Well, I can tell that nobody likes them. They're too nice. They're too positive. How do you have positivity like that in a place like this? Ah! I'm sure they're pleasant to interact with, though. Just, uh... <laughs> they kind of come off very strong. What the fuck? Is this... normal? Are there supposed to be holes in the wall? What the hell? Hey, PD, I need to talk to you. You broke it! No, you broke it! Nuh-uh! Will you get these kids to shut up? I'm fucking talking here. Yeah, what's this about? Uh, hey, uh, some shit's going on. Have you seen the tenant from 07? You know the tenant in 4.7. Dad, Tommy's picking on me. Shut up, snitch. I thought I told you to shut up. Seven, huh? Nah, can't say that I know the guy. Okay, so it's a guy. Yeah, well, seen him once or twice. I might have a vague recollection. Could you give me a vague description? Maybe. What's it to you? Uh, he might be my son. My son might have been staying in that apartment. I'm trying to find him. Well, why don't you tell me what he looks like? I'll let you know if it rings a bell. We lost touch since been a while. Huh. Sign of the times, I guess. See, I'm a family man myself. <laughs> shut up! No, you shut up! <laughs> no, you! I swear, if you don't shut up this instant... Uh, yeah, I can tell. So, <laughs> can you describe him or what? Young, probably in his 20s. Medium height, medium built. He wasn't very memorable. I see, I see. Have you seen anything suspicious? Like, whatever the fuck caused that? I mean, that might be normal, but that's weird. Have you seen anything suspicious around the building? Any strangers skulking around? Nah, I don't pay much attention to the other tenants. Bunch of losers. A lot of... You are so dumb. Not as dumb as you are. Nuh-uh, you're way dumber. Shut the fuck up! Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Not upstanding citizens like you. You bet your ass. Good thing we'll be getting out of this dump soon. Is that right? Yep, I've been working my way up. I even filed for a status upgrade. Once that goes through, we'll be moving to a B-class district in no time. Nice. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> Finally, the only guy who's been able to chat with us. Unfortunately, he had kids distracting him. Gosh. Ah. Uh, well, we push forward, I suppose. 
Any biological readings around here? No, not really. Okay. <laughs> Can't... Wait to go into the B-class districts. They should be a little bit better than this. Well, yeah, legitimate dump. Ugh, you're a door thing. I, I know you can leave messages for people to just like, I guess, respond to themselves. Ugh, but none of them are doing it. 